Hello everyone, this is the Crazy Canuck coming at you again from Saskatchewan, Canada. This is just a follow-up on my biodiesel video, going to the second stage, and uh, we're going to wash our diesel. Now, you really want to wash it because the uh, water will take out any extra catalyst, the lye, any extra methanol, and then you'll have a nice clean fuel to run in whatever you want to use it in. Now this has been sitting a while and as you can see it's separated out quite nicely. The glycerin is at the bottom, the fuel is on the top. So the first thing we'll do is we'll pour off the diesel into another container and then we'll do the wash. I'll be back in a second. So we've got the fuel which looks really really nice and clear in uh, another container. We're going to add I'm going to put in some nice warm water. And as, as you can see, the water in the bottom is just by pouring it through is a little cloudy. So that's picking up any trace amounts of methanol, any trace amounts of lye, so that it doesn't cause any problems in the engine. And then you can mix it, you can uh, put a air stone in the bottom and let, let that bubble for a while, let it mix up, and then you run that biodiesel off the top again once everything is settled out and you have your clean fuel to use. Now when I first started, I was also told that if you run an older vehicle to change the fuel lines the, uh, from the rubber to a, uh, a newer version so that they don't react with the biodiesel. I was running a 1991 Chevy half ton with a 6.2 diesel and I never had a single problem. Uh, my mileage actually went from 28 miles to the gallon to 33 and uh, I ran 100% with no problem whatsoever. So that's just a quick video update on the washing process for the biodiesel. Uh, there's one more thing I'll be doing in this uh, series. Uh, might be in a few days. I'm going to uh, try and get everything lined up for that and uh, we'll see how that goes. But for now if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like, if you like. And we will talk to you again soon.